Hey guys, don't have a new watch to show you today. I mean, I do, but I, this is not what this video is going to be. Just wanted to uh, talk about my day and what's been going on. Um, I wore this uh, Jade Monster. If it shows up very good in the light here, but this is the SZSC005. And honestly, I wore it today because I knew it was Thursday and... You know, it's like throwback Thursday or case back Thursday, you know, whatever. There's the case back. But um, I wanted to uh, reconnect with the monster. I haven't wore a, a Seiko monster in a long time. And, I mean, that's kind of my roots. So um, wearing this guy today and catching glimmers of uh, sunlight with it and, you know, these studio lights or um, artificial lights are not going to display this dial in its uh, absolute glory. Uh, like the uh, uh, you know natural sunlight does, but uh, man, I was reminded today of how great the Seiko Monster is, and it's nice to take a break from maybe your iconic watch or your uh, signature watch or whatever it is, um, and then you know throw that thing back on wrist occasionally to remind you what was so great about it, what you fell in love with on it in the first place. So. Um, I may actually wear the Orange Monster tomorrow because, man, it's been a while. I have not worn this Orange Monster in a while either, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. It just feels so good. It feels so natural on wrist. Um, um, another topic, though, I've been talking to Riley, and I actually posted up on the IWA about um, seeing if anybody was going to the Worn and Wound wind-up event in... Uh, Chelsea Market, which is in in or near New York City. I don't know that area really well, so I don't know like you know what territories are called. But um, it's going to be kind of an expensive trip. But I think Riley and I are kind of progressing towards actually going to it this year. Um, I think he booked an Airbnb, and I might drive down and meet him down. Um, where he is, and then both of us trek over to um, outskirts uh, New York and then take uh, public transit into the Chelsea Market area. So it's looking like this might actually fabricate. I might actually go to it this year. I know I had said I was going to, um, but, uh, you know, I say a lot of things that I sometimes just can't make happen. And with uh, the move and taking my son to college and uh, still working on the remodel on the house and my day job and then doing these videos and everything like that. It's hard to squeeze things in, but um, sometimes you just got to say screw it and just, you know, make the plans and just before you know it, the day will be here and I'll be uh, getting up bright and early and jumping in the car and heading down to uh, Riley's. And uh, next thing you know, we'll be uh, hanging out with a bunch of watch nerds and, um, Chelsea Market, making some new contacts and hanging out with some uh, people that, you know, we've been associating with for years now, really. Um, and we'll be able to get some face-to-face uh, -face time and, you know, uh, hang out and talk about life and stuff like that, you know, and mix in some watch coolness uh, on top of it. So I'm actually getting kind of excited about it. It's going to be a jam-packed, like, non-stop... Um, there's going to be probably some energy drinks, maybe some five-hour energy or something like that consumed because I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of sleeping because of the timeline. That It's going to be such a, a quick turn and burn trip. So, uh, But it's looking like Riley and I are going to make that happen. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and then uh, let's see what else I got going on. Um, another thing that just kind of stuck on the top of my head, but Ace over at the... Uh, there's There's so many Facebook groups, but... Um, a, a fairly new one, I think, or at least I'm new to it, and it's fairly small. It's called the Daily Wristwatch Check <clears throat> on Facebook. He's posted up his uh, Green Manta Triumph, uh, just like the one I just purchased, which I will do a video on super soon. I really promise, guys. I, I know that I've been, like, um, procrastinating that or something. I don't know what my issue is with it, but I will do it really soon. And he posted up his Green Manta, and uh, he pointed out... I don't know why I picked the monster, but uh, really he pointed out, you know, the six o'clock um, date display on 
uh, all these watches that have that feature, you know, today's the sixth. So it, you know, fits the dial rotation. So I really should have worn this guy today. And he posted up his and I'm like, oh, dang, I didn't even think about it. But um, made me uh, want to wear the Manta anyway. But um, that's typically, I kind of reserve that one or in my thought process on that was that's my weekend or vac I don't want to say vacation watch because even like when I go to that worn and wound wind up event, um, I mean, this is the guy that's going to be on wrist. Uh, this isn't like my signature watch. This is my memory watch. This is everything I travel with and everything like that. So um, I would venture to say that I'll probably take two watches. I'll probably take this watch and I'll probably take a G-Shock Square. Um, I think. Or it might be this and the Manta. We'll see. Um, but I'll either take... I won't take one watch. I don't take one watch even when I leave in the morning to go to work. So I'm definitely going to take at least two wa watches on a uh, trip or a journey. So, But this will be the one that I'll primarily wear. Um, and then, you know, I was watching some of old uh, videos from last year's event for the KDP did a really good coverage. And there's not a ton of videos uh, of the Worn and Wound uh, wind-up event. But um, it's, it's probably a smart practice to do is to throw whatever watch you're wearing, throw it on your right wrist which feels awkward to me. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but if you haven't, if you if you typically wear your watch on the left wrist or whatever wrist you wear it on, throw it, do it after this video or right now. Pop it off your wrist and throw it on your other wrist right now and tell me that doesn't feel weird as hell. Um, so I'll probably wear this on the right wrist because at the event, you're going to be trying on watches. You're going to be checking them out. So you don't want to be taking this watch off your wrist setting it down and then putting you know the one you're going to try on your wrist so you'll just wear this guy on your other wrist um i feel awkward even uh, putting it on my right wrist but um i'll, I'll uh, maybe i'll do some uh, practicing or something like that <laughs> and, and i definitely don't wear two uh watches and the, at the you know swartz coughing or whatever they call it uh you know tgv maybe coined that phrase but uh, Swartzkopf uh, actually did it, so um, so it's a it's a weird sensation anyway. But it's definitely a you know practical use of wearing it on your off hand or off wrist to you know operate in that function. But anyway, guys, uh, just a quick ramble, I guess. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll probably do a watch showing maybe this Hamilton or something. I still have that Hamilton. I have this uh, Vostok that uh, uh, Bruce sent over. So I, I still have a pile of watches to uh, show you guys and talk about. So definitely we'll be doing a video tomorrow. Maybe. Definitely maybe. See ya.